Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this Red Gaming Tech video with myself and Marta. I hope you're having an amazing day. Paul is off working on some other things today, so let's get started with some Intel Older Lake news. Yes, yet more Older Lake news. It does feel like ever since Intel had their architecture day, where they, of course, gave us the skinny and a pretty deep dive on what is actually going on with Older Lake, we have had a lot of of extra news come out of course just the other day we had a full leak of the entire stacks pricing which we discussed i will of course link that video in the description below this video go check it out we discuss just how competitive we think older lake is going to be based on those prices but today we have a release date information thanks to wccftech.com now of course you can find their article linked in the description below this video so according to their sources, we're going to be seeing Intel launch Older Lake S on November the 19th. Now obviously we are expecting the Intel Innovation event coming up soon, October 27th, the day after my birthday incidentally enough. But we will not see it launch then according to WC. We are going to be seeing it launch a few weeks later again on November the 19th. Now we undoubtedly will see Older Lake at this event. They probably will detail things such as like, you know, price, <laughs> release date, final specs across all the SKUs, stuff like that, as well as, of course, more information on the motherboards that are going to be available at launch. And on that note, we also have some information on that, again, thanks to WCCF's sources. So, Intel is going to be launching their first high-end Z690 chipset for next-generation processors, Older Lake, and most likely Raptor Lake as well, but it will not support anything before Older Lake, just to be clear. Now, according to their sources, this is going to launch at the same time, obviously, as the Old Lake processors, 19th of November. And, of course, we previously learned that it is an LGA 1700 socket, and the Z690 chipset will support DDR5 memory technology. So, it's just going to be, if this information is accurate, the Z690 chipset for Old Lake launching with the processors on November the 19th. We are going to be seeing the others debuting early next year, if indeed the rooms are are correct. Personally, I'm really looking forward to seeing exactly what in uh, Elder Lake has to offer in terms of performance, you know, how competitive is it going to be versus Zen 3 and of course Zen 4, which is going to be launching in the future as well. So far, it does look very, very promising indeed. We have seen three specifications of the K series leak, 12900K is to offer 16 cores, 23 threads. And of course, it's going to have performance cores and efficient cores as part of the, you know, the big dot little or whatever you want to call it design. And the 12600K is expected to launch with 12 cores, 20 threads. And the 12600K should offer 10 cores and 16 threads. But again, those are leaked specifications. And undoubtedly, we will get those confirmed or not confirmed at the Intel Innovation event, which is in just a month and a bit. I'm really looking forward to seeing what Older Lake has to offer in terms of you know gaming performance and so on because you know it's really important that we have competition in the marketplace. You know obviously AMD have been an absolute tear with Ryzen which has been great. You know Zen 2, Zen 3 were awesome and according to our report Zen 4 is going to be a bit of a monster but obviously Intel have just kind of struggled to compete so it would be nice to see Intel kind of come back and bring the heat once again and of course Raptor Lake is also rumoured to be very very interesting indeed. But but of course, we'll have to wait and see. But speaking of AMD, we have some interesting news for the RX 6600 non-XT up next. We've got a couple of things here, the first of which is a listing that was spotted, two listings in fact, for the Gigabyte RX 6600 Eagle, and these were listed in Australia. Now, the cards are listed at 80520 and 91080 Australian dollars and the more expensive model there does include the goods and service tax but we don't actually know if the first one doesn't or does we just don't know but there is something we can learn from this particular listing and that is the 8 gigabyte memory configuration now I'm sure you've seen the various leaks and rumours surrounding the RX 6600 and 8GB was of course the number that was doing the round so this listing does seem to confirm that 8GB GDDR6 memory configuration. But we also have some renders of the Gigabyte Eagle, Eagle excuse me, thanks to videocards.com who reached out to some of their sources to get some information on this. And as you can see, you can see the card in all its glory there, and the box also 
confirms that it is indeed a 8 gigabyte model. Now this confirms that AMD is not launching any 6 or 4 gigabyte models anytime soon. But the one thing we don't really know, other than, you know, of course, the memory configuration, is the specifications. The exact specifications are not known. We don't know exactly how this is going to differ from the 6600 XT. Now, of course, 6600 XT was definitely needed by AMD to fill out the RDNA 2 stack and obviously offer a mid-range option to gamers. But obviously, the pricing of that card was, well, a bit of a bitter pill to swallow for a lot of people. It was a bit too expensive, and it definitely was, at least in my opinion. Hopefully, the 6600 can be more sort of in line with what people have in mind. But of course, we'll have to wait and see. It is rumored to feature 1792 stream processors. But again, we just don't know. It is, of course, going to be targeting... 1080p so it's not exactly going to be bringing the you know the stonks compared to like you know what some of the high-end cards but obviously this is meant to be a mid main mid-range excuse me offering that is going to be more affordable but still offer competitive performance at lower resolutions I don't know how many of you are interested in the 6600. I would definitely like to get some opinions from you guys. I kind of get the feeling that a lot of people who already have a card that perhaps you know is still working, just a little bit old, a little bit aging, um, they're just going to wait for things to calm down in the GPU market, or perhaps wait for next year, um, or sorry, next generation. I mean to say. Uh, I would love to hear your thoughts guys if you're going to be perhaps picking up this card if you can get it MSRP or if you're just going to hold off and wait and see what happens. Anyway, that has been done for this video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, do remember to like and subscribe to help out a great deal and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.